हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे आई ब्रॉट फॉर क्लास टेंथ द ट्रीज पोएम फ्रॉम फर्स्ट फ्लाइट बुक सो लेट्स स्टार्ट दिस इज रिटन माय एड्रिन रिच एंड हु वाज बोर्न इन बाल्टीमोर 1929 एंड डाइड ऑन 2012 मेरीलैंड यूएसए she was a famous poet essayist and feminist she has published 19 volume of poetry three collection of essays and other writings now we will see the introduction of the poem the poem has a symbolic meaning the trees are an extended metaphor for women the poet says that the women have rested healed and recovered and are ready for their primary purpose to renew the empty forest of mankind now we will see summary poet talks about trees symbolically they refer to women who have been healed and are ready to move out of their houses to fulfill their primary purpose to renew the forest of mankind as women have remained indoors the forest has become empty the birds and insects render shelters the sun's rays do not have the tree trucks and leaves to fall upon and thus reach the earth she says that the forest will be full of trees the next morning the roots of the trees are working hard to separate from the floor floor of the veranda where they have remained fixed the leaves and branches are moving towards the glass windows they are desperate to move out just like a newly discharged patient who has not recovered completely moves to the exit door of the hospital in hurry the poet is sitting in her house with the doors of the veranda open she is writing letters but does not mention this movement of the trees it is night time the sky is clear and a bright moon is visible she can smell the leaves and listen which seems to be calling out desperately she hears the glass of the window pane breaking the trees are moving out and the fast blowing wind embraces them as the trees have reached the forest the tall and strong oak tree should overshadows the moon and it seems that the moon has been broken into several pieces now we will see the stanza one line by line explanation the trees inside are moving out into the forest the forest that was empty all these days where no bird could sit no insect hide no sun bury its feet in shadow the forest that was empty all these nights will be full of trees by morning so the poet says here that the trees are moving out of the confines of the houses into the open forest this is unrealistic as trees are immovable and hence we realize that the poem has a symbolic meaning we interpret that trees refer to females to move out of their homes into the forest to fulfill their primary purpose of filling the world with mankind further she adds that the forest has been empty for the past many days and so no birds can be seen as they do not have any trees to sit on on insects can be seen as they do not have any shelter and the sunlight cannot form any shadows the forest of humanity has remained empty for many days but will soon be full and bright 
now we will see here the next stanza all night the roots work to disengage themselves from the cracks in the veranda floor the leaves strain toward the glass small twigs stiff when exerted long cramped boughs shuffling under the roof like newly discharged patients half dazed moving to the clinic doors so here poet is saying explains there are some meanings regarding the tough words disengage it means remove strain means pressure and twigs means small stem exertion means effort cramped restricted boughs branch shuffling mixing and discharge sent out taste stem so poet explains here the struggle done by the plants to reach the forest she says that the roots worked for the whole night to separate themselves from the veranda floor the leaves tried hard to reach the window of glass so that they could go outside even the small stems of the trees put much of their efforts in order to set themselves free the big branches were also trying a lot to go out from the roof of the room we can see that women are desperate for change and their effort is compared to that made by a patient who has been released from the hospital and he tries to move out in a hurry although he is confused so maybe because they are half conscious and are under the influence of some medication they are unsteady but in a hurry to leave the clinic so nobody can stop them now we will see the stanza 3 i sit inside doors open to the veranda writing long letters in which i scarcely mention the departure the night is fresh the whole moon shines in a sky still open the smell of leaves and lichen still reaches like a voice into the rooms so scarcely means barely departure you know leaving lichen crusty patches of bushes of fungus and algae on tree trunk having a distinct smell so now the poet says here that she is sitting in her veranda writing long letters she does not mention about the trees leaving her house in her letters she says that the night is very clear she can see the complete moon which is shining the smell of leaves and lichen is like a voice which is yelling and expressing a desire for freedom from the confines of the house now we will see the stanza 4 my head is full of whispers which tomorrow will be silent listen the glass is breaking the trees are stumbling forward into the night winds rush to meet them the moon is broken like a mirror its pieces flash now in the crown of the tallest oak now whisper means murmur stumbling trip over flashes glare or shine oak it's a long and large tree used for making furniture so now the poet says her head is full of the slow sound made by the trees which are desperate to move out these sounds will not be heard the next day the poet asks the reader to listen carefully as a change is about to take place she hears the glass window breaking and the trees stumble out into the night the wind is blowing outside it meets the trees the moon is like a mirror and it appears to have been broken into pieces 
Since the shadow of the oak tree divides the moon into many fragments. So this was the last stanza. Now we will see the literary devices. Here the poet in the last stanza use simile as he is comparing the moon as a mirror and the personification sun bury its feet sun has been personified and jamman continuation of the sentence to the next line. The forest that was and trees by morning. Anaphora two lines begin with no imagery. The trees inside are moving out into the forest. Shows kinestic imagery. So this was the poem. I hope you liked it. And if you have any queries, then do not forget to comment in comment box and share and like my videos. Till then, take care.